you're clear on being able to hear me. All right, awesome. All right, so boys, I love having you. First, really every time we're doing this program is a really cool opportunity for you to improve your comfort on the ball, but more than that, right, our main goal is to help you develop your physical literacy. And by that, just like you need to learn to read and write, all right, a lot of what we're gonna do is gonna help you learn to be just, just to become an athlete, be comfortable in your body a little bit, show you some footwork and different dynamic movements. All right, so every single session is gonna get a little more challenging as we go, all right, throughout that session. And then they're also gonna get more challenging as we go throughout the six weeks. All right, so just like we do through a season, we try to build, we try to progress, we start simple, we get more and more challenging as we go. You're gonna get out what you put in. It's 30 minutes, intense, high, you know, high work rate, high repetitions. You're gonna get out what you put in, all right? If, if it's too simple, there's always, you can, all right, trying to go quicker, trying to go faster, more technical. All right, so we're gonna start with a dynamic up, about five minutes, just get heart rate going, just get your legs loose a little bit. Then we're gonna go into about 10 minutes of what we call our ABCs. That stands for our, our agility, our balance, coordination, and our speed. All right, this is what I'm talking about when it comes to your physical literacy. All right, too many of us don't learn how to walk before we can run properly. All right, so we're really gonna break it down, go through some speed and agility type of routines for about 10, 12 minutes, work on our fundamentals, work on our footwork, a lot of high little reps, little steps, all right, little athletic movement for about 10 minutes, and then we'll spend, once you get your heart rate up, once we get your legs burning a little bit, we're gonna spend about 10, 12 minutes on some ball work, which is so just like a game, just like a training, Right, you always have to sort of chase after that ball. You gotta work before you can get that ball at your feet. We wanna work before we get the ball at our foot. All right, so again, we'll start simple with everything and the goal is to progress so that by the end of it, you got a good sweat, got a lot of touches on the ball, a lot of good reps, and you're just feeling overall more comfortable as an athlete. All right, so really, really simple. I want you to go back into your space. All right, this is where I need to be able to see your footwork. You don't need your ball. You don't need to worry about your cone. You're gonna go back into your space, all right? You do, it might help to just go to speaker view right on your screen so that you can see me nice and clear and you don't have a million little boxes and you're always searching for me. If you click that little speaker view at the top, it should sort of be bigger and then everybody else a little smaller. That way you can see me clearly as we're going through this. All right, so again, you don't need to worry too See, in my head, it work as we're going, all right? So if you don't know what I'm calling out as we're going, you can clearly just see, look up, see me doing it, and then you get a sense of what we're doing, all right? So really simple, you're just gonna start kind of running in place, all right? Really simple, just kind of running in place, getting your hands and your feet moving. We're gonna start by opening the gates. Knees go up and out, right? Knees go up and out, opening the gates. Everything should have a little rhythm to it. So you want a couple steps in between, up and out. You're gonna open the gates, right? We're opening the gates, knees go up, and then out, up, and then out. Good, couple steps in between. Everything's got a little rhythm. Soccer's a game of rhythm, right? Two or three steps, one, two, three, up and out. One, two, three, two, three, good. And we're gonna close them, out and in, good. Out and in, good, out and in, out and in. Good, now we're closing the gates, good, and in, good. Good, good, then we're just gonna go leg kick. So straight out in front of you, right foot to the left hand, left foot to right hand. All right, our toe touches, right foot to left, left foot to right, good. Just swinging that leg in front of you as high as it can go. But you remember, so it was doing foot so bad left side, so don't pay attention to that. Right side goes up. Good, same thing, now we're gonna kick behind us. So it's out to the back to the side. Out and back to the side. Back to the side, just getting our dynamic warm up going. Good. Everything should have a steps in between. Out and back. Try to keep that leg straight as you go back. More just adding in late. Getting our dynamic warm up, right? One or two more of those straight kick to the back. 
next one, you're just gonna grab your toe and hold it for a second. All right, hold the steps in between, grab your toe again. Steps in between, good. Hold it for about two seconds, couple steps and switch. Always wanna be light on your feet, you want a little bit of a rhythm in between, so you're not just standing flat foot. Don't just stand flat foot, right? Little habit, couple steps in between. Good, then we're gonna go forward lunges. Just straight forward, don't let that back knee hit the ground. Little twist. Again, couple steps in between, switch feet. Couple steps in between, really bend that, that knee. Try to get down to a 90 degree angle. I'll go sideways so you can see me a little bit. All right, really bend that knee. 90 degree angle. Good, same thing, now you're gonna go side lunges. Right down to one side, one leg straight, couple steps in between and switch. Really get those steps in between, right? It's that little rhythm, those quick little steps, all right? That practice of being on a bounce. Keep that leg straight. Release your side. Yeah, you should feel a couple steps and then we switch. Good, now we're gonna go knee to elbow. Left knee to right elbow, right knee to left elbow. Turn in your hips, drive your knee across to your opposite elbow. Knee to elbow. Really try to drive your knee up in your elbow. A little turn of your waist, good. Good, and jog in place again, butt kicks. So you're gonna kick your butt, right heel flicks. Heel flicks, heel flicks. Heel flicks, heel flicks. Make sure you're paying attention, you got your volume up. Good, high knees, drive your knees up, drive your knees up, drive your knees up. Good, in place, high knees, in place, high knees. Good, nice and high, good, get them up. Good, then you're just gonna shuffle in place a little bit, right? Two or three shuffles from side to side, under control, don't click your heels. Don't cross your feet. Just a little shuffle side to side. Right, then in a karaoke, so you are gonna cross, a little crossover step. All right, try to get two in each direction. Two in each direction, little crossover steps, good. Good, then you're gonna go back in your spot, right? Back in your center, right? Jog in place, all right? Watching me, now I'm gonna go left, right, or back. If I say left, it's two quick steps to my left, and then I come right back into the middle. If I say right, it's two quick to the right, and then right back into the middle. And if we do back, right, we'll just turn our hips real quick, and then we come back in. Ready, so we're jogging in place, set, left. Good, left, right, right, back, back, All right, on your back, you wanna sort of drop your hips, but don't turn your back all the way to that camera. Back, left, right, Right, try not to lunge, quick little steps. Left, back, right, left, back, and time. Good there, I'm gonna give you a minute to catch your breath, grab a sip of water. Boys, really good stuff. Notice as I'm doing it right, every time my hands are moving with my feet. Never going with just my feet, keep my hands down on my side. Getting your hands involved, running like you would. 
right? When you're running a field, you don't just do this. You have your hands involved. Keep your hands engaged. <clears throat> All right, so now you need your marker. Just one marker in the space that you're gonna work in. It can be your cone, it can be a shoe, sock. You can even use the ball if you're desperate. All right, just need your marker. All right. It looks like most of us are ready, all right? So unless your ball is your marker, all right? You're just gonna leave your marker in one space. You don't need the ball just yet, all right? So as we talked about introduction to our ABCs, this is gonna be our introduction to that introduction, all right? So we're just working on activating our hands, our athletic stance and our movement, all right? Activating one foot at a time. So we're in place here, all right? Just jogging in place. When I say go, all you're gonna do is go one foot over, one foot back and you keep jogging. One foot over, one foot back and keep jogging. All right, so you're jogging in place and every time I say go, I got my marker to my left, just putting that little juke, little jab with my left, back in here. Working on a little bit of lateral movement, good, and I jab and I'm back in. All right, how it works, you're gonna work for 20 seconds, really hard, all right? And then 20 second rest. So. When I say begin, that's when I want you to start with that little jab step, right? And again, my hands are moving with my feet, a little jab step over the top, and then I come back in. All right, so over to your cone. I want you to go over the top of your cone if you can, Jake. All right, so not behind it, right over the top. Ready? Set, 20 seconds hard work. Go. Good. Good. Can you use those hands, Dakota? Right, just like you would run. Just get them in rhythm with your running, right? Good, much better, Dakota, good job. You and Micah, keep those hands moving like you would run, good. Good, five seconds, four, three, two, one, time, good job. Okay, so a couple of us are still a little confused on what we're doing, so come forward, watch the screen. All right, I don't want you to just sort of stick this leg out here. All right, I really want you to focus on that athletic jab where you're going over the top, you're moving with that foot. All right, so as I'm running, it's a little jab over the top. All right, our goal is to try to get it so it's every other step, one, in and out. Every other step, we're in and out. Every other step is in and out, my hands are moving. All right, focusing on getting my knees high. All right, same time, we're gonna go again with the same foot. So you should be working that left foot. Over the top, same foot you just did. If it was your right that time, that's fine. Same foot as left. Ready, we're gonna start in five seconds. Three, two, one, go. 20 seconds, hard as you can, good. Good, Jeff, well done. Keep those hands moving. Keep your hands moving with it, good. Much better, Jeff, good. Good, Micah. Can we run in place? Dylan, can you get those hands moving, right? Both feet should be running. You should be running, not just lunging. That Good, running, move both feet. Drive both knees up. There you go, Dylan, better. Yes, much better. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Good, catch your breath. Hey, this is all about your rhythm and your tempo, all right? So figure out your rhythm. You're gonna hear that a lot. All right, as you get older with your coaches, soccer is a game of rhythm. All right, so I'm running in place. This is me controlling my rhythm. All right, so now I'm moving one foot at a time. So now you're just switching to the other side and it's all right foot is being activated. So my left foot is running like I'm running in place. Now I'm working on that little right foot activation, a little lateral movement, a little lateral step. All right, again, just like you do on the field, when you run, you use your arms, you create that momentum. Not only that, as a soccer player, your arms out is where your strength's gonna come from, your balance. So I'm running in place, both feet are engaged, and now I'm just activating right foot in and out, in and out, in and out. All right, so you're gonna switch to the other side. 20 seconds of good work, and then we move on. Up you go, ready? Starting in three, two, one, go. Good, get yourself running in place. Good, Con a little more control, Dale, good. Run in place, yeah, there you go, but move with it. Good, move with it, your whole body with that juke. Good. Good, Micah, good, Jeff. Good, Dakota, good, good. 
Hold on, Parker. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Time. Good work, Rosen Brothers. Well done. Seconds, grab your breath. Last time we're doing this one. All right, you want to make sure your knees are bent. Us are standing really up, up high like this, right? And just kind of doing this. That's not really going to get you anywhere. All right, so athletically, you want to have your knees bent so that you can use those muscles to push off side to side. I'm really using my whole body as I go over that cone. That's the fake. All right, can we build balance with our arms, coordination with our hands and our feet, and a good heavy juke over that cone to come back? Right, we're working on that foot activation. This translates a lot, guys, to soccer. Right, your step over. Right, you just basic fake and take it. It translates for basketball. Any sport you play, that little fake, being able to fake your defender is important. So really get your whole body into it. Ready? I'm gonna start in five more seconds. Again. Start slow and then can we increase it as we're going? Three, two. One, go. Good, let's see it, Max, get into it. Good, well done. Well done, can we use those hands a little bit more, Maxi? Well done, use those hands a little bit more, just like you would run. Well done, Jack, good, Tyler, good. Focus on driving those knees up, Tyler. Can we get those knees up? Control your rhythm a bit, control the rhythm a little bit. Good, Ryan. Good, four. Three, two, one, time. Drew Brenner, well done. Take your time. Drew, working hard. Good job, buddy. Guys, you really, again, want to be focused on driving your knees up, okay? So this next one's going to help us. So now instead of one foot over, let me hold it. Somebody in the waiting room. You of us. All right, guys that just joined us, we're working on our ABCs, right? Our speed, our agility, coordination. You just need your one marker. All right, so now we're gonna, instead of just that one foot back and forth, we're gonna use both together. All right, this should really help you get over the top, right? So as I'm running, now instead of just running in place, I'm trying to use that little lateral movement, right? Explode to the side. Notice, as I'm running here, my knees are coming up, right? I'm pushing and I'm driving over the top of that cone. Right, it's nice and controlled. And then this way, as I get going, right, more comfortable I get, the quicker my hands, the quicker my feet can go. Start slow, get your rhythm, and then we try to increase. Micah, can you set that so I can see your footwork? On the ground's better if you need. Rather be able to see your feet than your face. One thing, right, last, last little tip. We don't want to cross our feet on this. So you shouldn't be crossing your hips. If the cone is on my right hand side, my right foot goes over first. If it's on my left, my left foot goes over first. All right, focus on driving those knees up. Don't just try to shuffle over that cone. Really drive those knees. Ready? 20 seconds of hard work. Set, go. Good deal. Can you drive those knees up a little bit? Can you drive those knees up? Can we drive those knees up? Good, Parker. Good. Get those knees up a little bit more. Don't cross your feet. Don't cross your feet. Good. Drive those knees up. Good, Dakota. Good job, boys. Well done. Good work. Three, two, one. Time. Good work, boys. I love your pushing yourself. You're trying to go really hard, really fast. That's good, but some of us are getting out of control, all right? Some of us quickly that we're losing the purpose of it. All right, focus on that knee up, hands together. One, three, one, two, three. Knees are always coming up. Your knees control a lot of your balance, control a lot of your submiss, all right? Focus on driving those knees up and then back into the ground. We're gonna start in five seconds. We have one more after this. Good work here. Ready, set, go. Good, get those knees up. Good, don't cross your feet. Don't cross your feet. 
Good, Connor. Well done. Good work, buddy. Keep working. Keep working. Keep going, boys. Good job, Max. Keep going, bud. Good, Dylan. I like you figuring it out. Good job. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Time. Well done, boys. Well done. Catch your breath. Move on to the next one. Couple more people joining in a little late, which is fine. All right, we're not going backwards, so you're gonna have to stick with us. The last footwork we're doing here, all right, we're gonna combine those two together now. All right, so now I'm beside my cone. The cone's on my left. I'm gonna still do that jab with my left foot, all right, but then I'm gonna go over the top. So I'm switching sides now, all right? Jab with my left, back, over the top. Then jab right, back over the top, left, back, over the top. So now you're doing that little fake, and then we explode in that direction. A little fake, good, and then we explode in that direction. This one is gonna test your rhythm. Have you been working on your rhythm? Are you in control of your tempo? All right, great players, great athletes can go from slow to fast when they want, from fast to slow, they control their own speeds. All right, control your speed, get your work down. You're gonna do that one more time. All right, fake, good, back, then we're over the top. Fake, back, then we're over the top. Ready, 20 seconds of good work. Set, go. Good, we're working now, good. Fake, good, then we're over, good. Don't cross those feet, Jake, good. Good, Ryan, drive those knees up. Control yourself, Drew, slow yourself down a little. Good, there you go. Good, that fake, come back, then we go over. Good. Fake, come back, then we go over. Good, Dakota. Good, Parker. Well done, boys. Good, Max, good footwork, I love it. Good job, Braden, five seconds. Three, two, one, time. Good job, boys, well done. Catch your breath. I'm going to give you one minute to grab a sip of water. And then you're going to need your ball when we come back. One minute, quick sip of water. Then we need our ball. We're going to, going to get into our ball work. If you don't need the minute break, for one, we can be working harder. But for two, all right, if you're outside, you can juggle a little bit. If you're inside, you can dribble a little bit. Reset my camera so you can see my feet a little better. All right, when we come back in, you can use your cone, leave your marker in front of you. All right, so you're facing your camera, markers in between the two. We might have one or two more joining in here late. The hammer stab boys joining us late. <clears throat> All right, boys, so you're going to go back or actually stay up, right? You can stay up on your screen so that you can see me demonstrate. Same thing as we just did with our footwork. All right, our balance, our ABCs, our agility, bounce, coordination, and speed. Now we're going to do with the ball. Now our legs are burning a little bit. Our heart rate is up. All right now we're going to test our touch. We're going to work on our touch. So we're not doing traditional foundation touches. It's not just the inside of your foot. All right, you're going to use the sole of your foot to do your foundations now. You're using the sole of your foot to roll the ball back and forth. All right, so I'm catching it with the sole, and then I transfer from one side to the other. All right, this marker in front of me, right, that's my, I want to go from one side of the cone to the other. All right, so we're slow in space, and then we're here. We shouldn't be crossing our feet. All right, nice wide base. Slight touches on the ball. All right, 20 seconds. Back in your space. Let's see it. <clears throat> 20 seconds. Back in your space. Starting in three, two, one, go. Love it. Good work. Good, Braden. Well done, Max. 
Nice and sharp, boys. Good job, Parker. Good job. Touches. Ten more seconds. More seconds. Set a high standard. Good work, Micah. Love that footwork. You can tell somebody's been working. Good job, Ryan. Try and use the sole of your foot. Three, three, two, one. Time. Catch your breath. Catch your breath. All right, 20 seconds. Try to beat what you just got. All right, I want you keeping track of your touches. You're always trying to be better than your previous self. That's the goal of this program. That should be the goal of everything we're doing. All right, so keep track of your score, Rosen brothers. You can challenge each other. My money's on Travis. Yeah, Micah, get offended. All right, same thing, back in your space. Back in your space. Ready, 20 seconds, same thing. Don't cross your feet using our soul here. Start slow, control your rhythm, then we increase as we go. Ready, set, go. Good hard work, can we beat our last score? Nice and sharp, good, gotta be under control. Good. Good, Max. Max, if you set it up so I can see your footwork, I'll be able to coach you up a little bit, but I like to see that you're paying attention, but better be good. Five more seconds. Good. Can we use our soul, Ryan? Trying to use our soul. Three, two, one, time. Good job, boys. Got your breath. Back in. All right, watch me. Our next one is our pull push, but we're using our laces. So you're going to pull it in with the sole, out with your laces. In with the sole, out with your laces. So with the right foot, right laces. So now we're just in space, using the sole, pull in, push out. All right, so from the side angle, you can see locking the ankle, just pushing the ball back out. All right, the more comfortable I get, trying to get my head off the ball, not staring at the ball. Ready, 20 seconds. Again, take your time, get the technique down, and then we try to increase. This one, you really gotta be light on your toes. You gotta be doing it on a bounce. Ready, set, go. Good, pull in, laces out, good. In, laces out, well done, Connor, well done. Good, Jake. Might help to have some sneakers on. Switching feet, right? Every time you should switch, right to left, right to left. Right, then left foot. Right foot, then left foot. Good, Owen, look it. Good, Cal, taking your time, getting it right. Good. Good, Dell. Three, two, one, time. Well done, boys. This is gonna be a tough one to do if you're in socks, right? Yeah, I'm in my living room, but I put my futsal shoes on. I put sneakers on, All right? If you can't use sneakers in your house, maybe barefoot will help. You get a little better grip that way, all right? Again, this is where we're putting that agility and our balance together because we got to be able to move forwards and backwards on one foot to control this thing. So as I'm here, I'm bouncing back with it, and as I touch it, now I'm switching and I'm coming forward. All right, can we get to the point where we're nice and sharp, alternating feet? All right, if that's too quick, I'd rather you take your time and get the technique down than try to go so fast you're out of control. If you think this is simple, you can try to do it on the move. Maybe you try to go around your marker. All right, under control, moving in multiple directions, forwards and backwards. All right, but it's more important you get the technique down. I'm gonna start in three seconds. Two, one, go. Good, can we beat our last score? Love it, Dakota, good. Good, don't be flat foot, don't be flat foot, right? That plant foot, you should be on your toes, good. You wanna keep your plant foot on your toes, good. Five more seconds, good. Well done, well done, and time, good. Good job, freeze it there, grab your break, sip of water, and we watch again. All right, we're gonna combine the two a little bit. We're gonna do our foundations. All right, two taps, and then the first one we just did with our roll across. Two taps, and we use our sole of our foot to roll it across. Two taps. So the foot and across. So tap, tap, roll, tap, tap, roll, tap, tap, roll. 
Again, from the side so you can see a little bit, right? Grabbing it with the sole of the foot. It's not just your foundations, combining two. You need a little bit more, right? A couple more touches here before we use our sole. That's fine, you can do that too. Again, it's more important we get this technique down and then we increase our speed as we go. Tap, tap, roll. Everything has a rhythm. One, two, three. One, two. And we just set going. Rest on seconds. One, go. Good. Keep working, boys. Tap, tap. Tap, roll. I love it. Our quick, uh, speed. I like moving with the ball. Shouldn't cross our feet. Shouldn't cross our feet. Can we move it side to side? Good. Can you, if it in place is a little simple, can we go forwards with it? Can we go backwards? Tap, tap, roll. Five seconds. Three, two, one. And. Boys, good job. Our speed. We also can get more challenging by getting our head off the ball. Right? Try to do it without looking. I know a lot of you can't really see as they're doing it, but you got to be honest with yourself. Can we get our eyes off the ball? Ready? Start in three seconds. Can we beat our last score? Go. Tap, tap. Good. Then we roll across. Good. Tap. Tap, roll across. Well done. Good. Ten more seconds. Ten more seconds. Good work. Good. Tap, tap, roll. Tap, tap, roll. Good. And time. Good work, boys. Great work. Good work. Catch your breath. Last one we're going to do. All right, last one we're doing today. And again, these will all get more and more challenging as our weeks go. So if you miss a... Tuesday, you're not available. We'll post them online. All right? It'll be on our new YouTube channel, Needham Soccer Club TV. It'll also be on our website. So you have mom and dad pull them up. We want to get these foundations in before we continue to progress. Every week we'll get more challenging. All right. Next one, we used our inside. Now we're going to also use our outside. So it's outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. Inside you switch, outside, inside you switch. All right, so now we're putting all that lateral movement that we did without the ball, now we're putting it together with the ball. Outside touch, inside, now we switch, push off that outside, inside switch. All right, so outside, inside switch, just working in this area. Can you go from one side of your cone to the other side of your cone? Try not to lunge. Try to keep your feet moving as you switch from one side to the other. All right, outside, inside, switch. Again, it's about that rhythm, and then we increase our tempo. Ready, set, go. Great work. Outside, good, inside, then we switch. Got to bend those knees, got to stay over the top of the ball. Outside, inside, switch, good. 10 seconds, can we get a couple more? Outside. Inside, switch, good, good. Five seconds, three, two, one, and time. Well, all right, really simple. Micah Gladstone, can you hear me? I want you to demonstrate what we were just doing as sharply as you can, all right? Ready? Everybody, I want, if you can, find Micah's screen. All right, Micah, begin when you're ready. I'm just going to coach through as you do it. Ready and go. Guys, you notice as he's working here, he's never really lunging for that ball. His feet are always moving, right? So he's always moving side to side. He's moving with the ball. He's never lunging way too far. He's grabbing it on that last step, and then he takes another one so that he can plant before he pushes and changes direction. Mike, up freeze there. Well done, buddy. Hey, great job. So I want to see a bunch of us right now, right? We're touching it out, and then we're sort of lunging, and we're staying way over here nice and wide, right? As Mike is going through it, as he takes that touch, he's still moving here because now he's got that strong base to be explosive out the other way, all right? Try not to just do it 
and then lunge here and have the ball end up way over here already. All right, so that outside, and then when you come with that inside, you're sort of just holding it so that I can plant and explode with the ball again. All right, last 20 seconds of good hard work. Really focus on your footwork here for me. Can you move with that ball side to side? Try not to lunge for it. Ready, set, go. Good, outside, inside switch, good. Keep moving with that ball, Dakota, good work. Good job, Jeff, nice and sharp, buddy, looking good. Good job, Michael Rosen, good work. Good job, Owen, good job, Cal. Really move side to side, right? Keep your legs bent. 10 more seconds, good, Max, good control. Hold on, boys, keep working. Five, two, time. Good, and freeze, freeze, freeze. Boys, great, great job, All right? As I said, we'll post this on our new YouTube page. It's Needham Soccer Club TV, if you wanna look for it, right? If you wanna do this later in the week, if you miss a week, that's where they'll be, that's where you can find them. Hey, this stuff might seem cool. If it challenged you at all, that means you should a little bit of time because more right? But you want you to get better. Spend a little bit of time, right? You're gonna have taken a lot, a big step forward. Whether it's soccer, basketball, hockey, whatever it is, all these movements being coordinated, being confident in your coordination is gonna help you. Hey, awesome job. I hope you guys have a great week, right? Stay safe. Two thumbs up on your way out. Awesome, awesome job all around, boys. Really appreciate it. Great job today. First session in the Bucks. Be proud of yourself. Bye, guys. Great job today. I am Good proud job. of myself. Drink lots of water. Welcome, Bye. boys. Good job. Bye. 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 I'll see you next Bye. Tuesday. Thank you, Coach. Bye, guys. Thank you. Proud of your hustle. Good effort today. Thank well you. done today, Tyler. Good job, guys. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. Well done, Max. Good job. Well done, Braid. Hey, buddy. Good Thank job, Max. Thank you. Thanks. Have a good one. Thanks, Coach. Well done, boy. Bye. Awesome job, Jeff. Have a good week.